I'm Lori Garver. I work at NASA, and this is my story. Determined. I grew up in a family that was very interested in having, making a difference, having an impact on the future, leaving the world a better place than you found it. I think I was pretty typical to most uh, young girls growing up in the 60s and 70s. I think I probably first wanted to be a stewardess. When I went to college, I really learned to uh, love political science and this great democracy that we live in. And although I'd never been to Washington, D.C., the day I graduated from college, I drove across the country and drove into the city to try and make a difference. I grew up at a time where astronauts were walking on the moon. And so when you grow up thinking you can walk on the moon, it was not that big of a leap for me at age 40 to think I could train to go to the International Space Station. In 2001, I was training in Russia to go on the Soyuz spacecraft, a little side project of mine, and I happened to be there at the time with Lance Bass from InSync, who was also training for a mission for space. We were competitors, friendly competitors, mom versus boy band. The centrifuge is sort of the pinnacle test that you have to take, and I had just completed my eight uh, G's in the centrifuge, and Lance had done his uh, as well. And in talking with the doctors, one of whom had been Yuri Gagarin's doctor, she made it very clear that I had done better on this test than Lance Bass. So I asked her, why did Yuri Gagarin get chosen to go first in Russia? Was he the best at the tests? And she explained, no, he was not the best at the tests, but he had the best smile. And I turned to Lance, and I just knew at that moment, Lance would be getting to go, not me. There are so many happy moments of my career. When President Obama asked me to come back, there was no question that I was just thrilled to do anything here uh, that he felt uh, I could help him do at NASA. So of course, that's something that is uh, pretty daunting to come to NASA to serve the president as the deputy administrator of an incredible agency, going through the whole process of confirmation with Charlie uh, Bolden was an incredibly wonderful experience. There have been so many highlights for me. The moment of liftoff of the last space shuttle mission where I was with the head of the Russian Space Agency and on the balcony of OSB2, we're standing there three and a half miles away. And to think that the very organizations that symbolized the Cold War were now working together. And as the rocket lifted off, it was an incredible moment. Also, when the Falcon 9 lifted off was a pretty happy moment. I think that uh, this president really went out uh, very much in favor of a future for humanity and space that is quite different from the past. And it's hard to do risky things in government. And the fact that the president asked us to really take this risk and work with the private sector uh, was an incredible thing to see that not only were they successful, but we at NASA were successful at beginning to loosen our grip and recognize that uh, if we can help our American industry succeed, we can go further, uh, faster for the American people. You can't really think in a position like this one much about your, your next job. You have to do your very best job every day here. When my schedule isn't so intense as it is now, I have joked that I'm going to throw pots in the future. I love to do pottery and art and things like that. In an earlier interview, someone asked me about my dream job, and my response was rock star. So I guess I still have that to look forward to.